Let me tell you a story. There once was a rookie running back who had a decent college career and eventually made his way to the Denver Broncos via the NFL draft. And he was trying to work his way up the depth chart. This running back was put onto the kickoff team during a preseason game. And well, check this out. Yep, you guessed it. That was Terrell Davis. One of the greatest running backs of all time. Easily the best running back in Denver Broncos history. The only running back in NFL history to rush for 2,000 yards in a single season, have a regular season MVP, and a Super Bowl MVP. And we could almost narrow his entire career down to that one moment in a preseason football game. Touchdown, Welcome back to the channel, Broncos Country. My name is Derek your fellow diehard, and I just wanna talk about the preseason. If you consider yourself to be a fan of the Denver Broncos or a fan of the NFL in general, you're gonna to wanna to click that subscribe button because I've got some juicy videos planned for you down the road here. And by juicy videos, I mean like just videos about football, specifically from like a Denver Broncos angle or the AFC West or the AFC. It's about football, click subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support me, there is a link to buymeacoffee.com. You can head over there and you can donate if you'd like to support me. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about the NFL preseason. People go back and forth all the time on whether or not you should play your starters during the preseason. And look, I completely understand, especially for teams like the Denver Broncos who are incredibly injury prone. However, I like the preseason. I think the preseason is actually a very good and very needed thing for the NFL. Granted, I think that maybe adding an extra game during the regular season, making it a 17 game season is kind of overkill, especially when you already play three preseason games. But those preseason games are predominantly for guys trying to make the roster. For the most part, going into any NFL season, you can pretty much know who the starters are going to be on both sides of the football unless you're the Dallas Cowboys having a kicker battle and it ain't going so hot. Sorry, Cowboys fans. We go back to the story about Terrell Davis and we see that his impact on special teams in the preseason is a part of the reason why Terrell Davis was able to make the final roster for the Denver Broncos. Now, obviously he already had raw talent or else he wouldn't have been such a great football player in general, but the man did whatever it took to make the active roster. And that's one of the main reasons why I think the preseason is incredibly important. A second reason why the preseason is important and relevant and actually needed is simply because these starters need live game reps. You can simulate as best as you can during practice, but you are not going full speed in the NFL. I haven't talked about this yet on this channel, but I played football in college. I was a running back and the difference between the speed from a training camp practice in college to an actual game day in college was night and day. And in college, we are all going hard AF literally every step. But the jump from practice to real game speed was astronomical. And it's even more so in the NFL when these guys are mostly doing walkthroughs, throwing routes on air, not ever tackling to the ground. And so it's important for these players to get these live game reps. Most NFL, well, pretty much all NFL coaches have different philosophies on what you should do during the preseason. In fact, last year, the Denver Broncos didn't play any of their starters during the preseason. And that was a decision that was made by their head coach at the time. Whereas other coaches like to play their starters in the preseason for those live game reps. And sometimes you have games where you're playing your second string guys versus starters, and it's just not pretty for anyone involved. And to be quite honest, the live game reps are genuinely some of the most valuable 15 reps a starter will get during the entire preseason. Because practice is just practice. But we talking about practice, man. How the hell can I make my teammates better by practicing? Yes, you're gonna get a lot of mental reps, but the physical side of things is hard to replicate during practice. But we talking about practice, man. Which leads me to the third reason why I think preseason football is a good thing. Preseason football allows your coaching staff to finally get a chance to see if their players are actually in game shape. Trust me when I say this, 
you can run as many gassers as you want. You can do as many conditioning sprints as you want. You can run as many miles as you want during the preseason, during camp, all of that kind of stuff. But until you get into that live game scenario and you're leaning on another dude, you're trying to tackle a guy, you're chasing another guy down the field, you're trying to make a cut in the backfield, whatever that looks like, you are going to be tired. And that's why game shape and practice shape are not the same thing. And it's not just your lung capacity or your ability to have a lower heart rate when you're running down the field as fast as possible. Another thing is taking hits. Every single hit on a game day is basically a mini car crash. <laughs> Bags a little slow. But that's what these tests are for. And no, this isn't gonna be a conversation about CTE. We can talk about that in another video. Actually, let me take a note real quick. But because these hits are so hard and so vicious, it's important for these guys to get these hits in before the season actually starts so that their body is prepared to take the beating that it's going to take week in and week out, every Thursday, every Sunday, every Monday. Your body has to adjust to landing. Your body has to adjust to absorbing contact. Your body has to adjust to giving a hit itself. And let's be honest, even if your team isn't playing their starters, I guarantee you're going to take your remote, you're gonna point it at your television, you're going to turn on whatever streaming service you use to watch games, and you're going to sit there and you're going to watch your favorite team. Why? Because it's your favorite team playing football on live television. If you truly are a football fan and your team is playing and you can watch it, you are going to watch that game. Because during the preseason, there are no records, expectations are sky high, and everyone is going to win the Super Bowl. So when people ask me how I feel about the preseason, I tell them exactly that. I like the preseason because I like watching football. Case closed. And also it's just so great to see fans back in the stadium and around the players and getting autographs and little kids maybe having their first opportunity to go to a professional football game and all this kind of stuff. Which, full disclosure, I've never been to a professional football game even though I played the sport for 17 years. If you would like to donate to get me to a Denver Broncos football game, you can click the link in the description below. Let me know what you think about the preseason. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Are you indifferent towards it? Drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel. And also, if you haven't done so already and you made it this far in the video, click that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up on this video. And if you'd like to see what ChatGPT thinks the Denver Broncos are gonna do in 2023, uh, click this video.